Ladies and gentlemen, they are doing it once again, lying to you in your face. And as a exiled paleoclimatologist, I am embarrassed and upset at what's going on. Researchers predicting low to no snow for the Northern Rockies and other ranges. This has been going on for over a decade. Two decades where researchers that are paid by government grants are telling us that snow will be a thing of the future. This began almost 20 years ago, and every single prediction has, well, not come to fruition. They have all been untrue, and this is unlike no other. Low to no snow for the northern Rockies and other ranges. Now, they're basing this off on conjecture, not science. If you read the article, they say things like it's hit or miss. And winters are actually part of a larger trend, global warming insinuated, with mountain snowpack dropping since the 50s. This is all lies. Mountain snowpack has not been dropping since the 50s. And we're going to get to the facts in just a moment. But first, let's take a look, shall we, at the albedo map. Now, this map is the northern hemisphere snow cover as of now and what the satellites are picking up. And it shows that 80% of the landmass above 45 north is covered in snow. This is 100% of the average of the last 100 years. What you're looking at is average snow cover since the Industrial Revolution. But no one's talking about it. The fall northern hemisphere snow extent has been increasing since the 1960s. There was an ice age scare here at this peak. And then it was global warming the whole time as fall northern hemisphere snow extents increased to their maximum in 2014, the most ever recorded during the global warming scare. Now, if we look at U.S. blizzard frequency, first, let me back up. The information, the graphics, the science of what's actually happening with paleoclimatology on the planet, with climate, with the climate science, is being erased now, when I started this channel over five years ago, there were thousands of data sources to access, and now there's almost none. So you do the math. What's going on with the mainstream media, with the powers that be, the money funders, the MFers? What are they doing to science? This is the only graphic you can find back to 1960 that actually shows facts. The U.S. blizzard frequency. Apparently, they didn't scrub this. But because we're doing this video, in about a year, this graphic will not be available to the general public on the interwebs. But thankfully, it's still here because it tells a tale that the mainstream media is lying to you about. And it shows that at the beginning of the global warming scare here, and right when I went to university in 1990, the U.S. blizzard frequency is epically had been increasing for decades up until the present. And it will continue to increase because this data set still exists as well. The upper Midwest extremes in one day precipitation during the snow months, October through March, and this data set comes from 1911 through 2018, and it shows a marked increase since, well, 1960s. This is the global warming scare. This is the, uh, well, actually, the Ice Age scare in the 70s. But huge amounts of snow during the Ice Age scare here has been replicated and, well, exceeded exceeded in 2016 and we the upper midwest extremes and snow will continue now if we want to come to the most high resolution this is the united states epa they have the climate change indicators page here and we're looking at snow cover and this can break down all of global warming in an instant here is the solar max happening from 1990 to 2005 
where we have some of the lowest snow covered areas in North America during solar max. Yes, the sun controls the climate and the sun warmed the earth to a maximum. That's why we had minimum snow cover. But since then, it had leveled off. This is the global warming pause here from 2000 to 2015. And then now an increase in snow cover. Yes, an increase in snow covered areas in North America beginning in about 2013 and increasing till present. And, and, and the, the data doesn't lie. Here we are at the total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere excluding the mountains as of today and it's well above the 40 year snow mass average and the entire year the entire season it's been above the 40 year average now if you were living in a global warming world don't you think these numbers of snow mass in the northern hemisphere should be below the average from the last 40 years wouldn't that be what you're expecting yes well Expect the lie to be right in your face because it is. These charlatans have been lying for decades about data sets. They've been scrubbing them from the internet. We can't access them anymore, but the U.S. blizzard frequency kicks them right in the... Doesn't it? What say you? Fall northern hemisphere snow extent. How about the fact that since 2013... Yeah, snow-covered areas in North America are rapidly increasing at a rapid rate. And the average snow mass for the global snow in the Northern Hemisphere has been above the baseline, above the multi-decadal average, and outside of the norm for the last three years on this channel. Who's lying to you? And who's telling you the truth? Well, I can assure you that I have no reason to lie to you. It's Christmas, and I'm hoping to get some high-power binoculars, pot potentially an electric motorcycle and other shit to make me feel better. And I hope this information was a Christmas gift to you, and it made you feel better. So you can stick your foot up the asses of the global warmists, the climate change alarmists, and all the rest of the ass tarts in the world that surround us. Take a jab, take two, take four, take 12. You're not fully vaccinated until you get the disease and you're now, well, I digress. We love each and every one of you. Remember, the narrative is a narrative. The mainstream is paid for. Diamond is bankrupt. <laughs> you do the math. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and stick your foot up the asses of the masses. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Watch Tony Heller for more moderated versions of this exact video. And that's a boom.